corporal punishment is described as an ancient form of punishment in criminology. Corporal punishment is the infliction of physical pain upon a person's body as punishment for a crime or infraction. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sipaha and today we are going to discuss the types of corporal punishment. The first form of corporal punishment is flogging, which is considered as the most common method of punishing criminals. In India, this mode of punishment was recognized under the Whipping Act 1864, which was repealed and replaced by a similar act in 1909 and finally abolished in 1955. The instruments and methods of flogging, however, differed from country to country. Some of them used straps and whips with a single lash, while others used short pieces of rubber hose as they left behind traces of flogging. The next type is mutilation. This mode of punishment was known to have been in practice in ancient India during Hindu period. One or both the hands of person who committed theft were chopped off and if he indulged in sex crime, his private part was cut off. This system was in practice in England, Denmark and many other European countries as well. The next mode of punishment is branding. The convicts were branded as a mask of indelible criminal records, leaving visible marks such as scars in the body parts, which are normally noticeable. These permanent indelible marks not only served as a caution for the society to guard against such hardened criminals, but also carried stigma which deterred them from repeating the offence. Branding of prisoners was commonly used as a mode of punishment in Oriental and Classical societies. Roman penal law supported this mode of punishment and criminals were branded with appropriate mark on the forehead so that they could be identified and subjected to public ridicule. The system of branding was not uncommon to American penal system also. The burglars were punished by branding the letter T on their hand and those who repeated this offence were branded R on the forehead. In Maryland, US, blasphemy was punishable with branding the letter B on the forehead. In India, branding was practised as a mode of punishment during the Mughal rule. This mode of corporal punishment now stands completely abolished with the advent of humanitarianism in the field of penology. Next mode is stoning. The stoning of criminal to death is also known to have been in practice during the medieval period, especially in some of the Islamic country, particularly in Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, etc. The offenders involved in sex crimes are generally punished by stoning to death. The guilty person is made to stand in a small trench dug in the ground and people surrounded him from all sides and pelt stone on him until he dies. Though it is very barbaric in nature, but due to its deterrent effect, the sex crimes and particularly the crime against women are well under control in these countries. Pillory was yet another form of cruel and barbaric punishment which was in practice until the end of 19th century. The criminal was made to stand in the public place with his head and hands locked in an iron frame so that he could not move his body. The offender could also be whipped or branded while in pillory. He could be stoned if his offence was of a serious nature. At times the ears of the criminal were nailed in the beams of the pillory. In India during Mughal times, this system of pillory was slightly different but more hardened and more brutal in nature. The hardened criminal and dangerous offender were nailed in walls and shot or stoned to death. Due to his cruel and brutal nature, it is abolished in the modern penal system. So this is all about corporal punishment. I hope you like the video and if you like it, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू सून टेक केयर बाय बाय